Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Battle of the BS and Blake. It's time to get extreme for Extreme Rules 2023. <laughs> and uh, I think we got big shows on both ends. Luckily, I made enough money to recover from purchasing a whole John Cena last week. I've got a brand new Cena. I got a brand new Cena. <laughs> Oh, it's in Honolulu! Fuck yeah. You haven't scheduled any championship title fights in a while. They're a useful way to get the audience cheering. I fucking know. My champion, my, my universal <laughs> and tag champion has got one foot in the grave. Like, I need you to be careful, bud. I've been, I've been putting out a lot of work and I think I've earned a shot at the title. How about it? Um. Well, James Gordon. You know what, James Corden? You'll get your shot within three weeks. I want to keep James Corden happy. You're one of my primetime players. Oh, also, thank you. Um, but I looked up when you were booking last time, and I noticed that you had a double cost card. And I was like, please don't. <laughs> please not. Not after Cena. Not after Cena. I... Please don't. <laughs> oh, I, I just bought that, too. You were lucky I didn't use it. Hey, Scotty, I, you've seen the work I've been putting in, but I know I can do more for the brand. I'm ready to run a main event match. I know the fans will be excited. Um, seem, well, does he mean tonight? Because hmm. he's, he's not going to main event tonight, but I could easily have him main event next week. Actually, actually, he's not on the card. Um, I'm going to say yes. I just think that means then I hope that means the next time I book him. He has to be in the main event. Um, mm -hmm. Also, since this is a pay-per-view, we can just kind of vibe, luckily. And I already know what, like, all, literally every single one of my matches are. So uh, let's yep. see. This one's a TLC because that's what Wendy Williams is good at, title match. Mm -hmm. And then my opener will be my other level four rivalry, Katya versus Mithrigan and a tables match because I know they're both good at that. Then a Badlands Chugs versus Breezy and, and Extreme Rules. And then a MJF versus Tyler Florence in a tables match. I'm uh, see here's the problem with these mm -hmm. two. I'm good I'm gonna bet on the uh, higher rivalry. But oh I can yeah. oh I can buy more stuff. Oh, I got to be mm -hmm. careful. Okay, well, let me see. Mm -hmm. Schedule a run-in on your most popular available star this week. Who is... Zerg. Fuck. Mm. I don't want you on my show, Zerg. Mm. I could have Zerg defend the title at some point. Who can I... Who can I put Zerg against? Hold on. Okay. Which one of these do I want to grow further? Mm -hmm. MJF just came back. I'm going to clear that match and then I'm going to do a call out of these two. Okay. Who's who's got the higher rivalry score or er, a, a promo skill? There we go. So I'll boost that yeah. and then kind of hold on to them till the next pay-per-view. Let me change that in my card really quickly. Move that down to whatever mm -hmm. our next show is. Um let's see. So that means I can put Zerg on the card now. Oh, he has plenty of options, huh? Oh, wow. Well, you know something? I'm going to give him a match against... Oh, I could do it against Tyler and have... Oh, wait, no, no, because I can't have Zerg run in. Okay, here's my plan. These two in a... Mm, I'm gonna give him a little stank on it. Yeah, Extreme Rules, that's the match. Uh, title on yep. the line, fuck it. And then, Interference, run in, John Cena on Zerg. Yeah! I'm making good use of him already. Um, and then I'm gonna go over to my power cards. I'm going to play Special Promotion, keep most of my fans. 
have you noticed it takes longer for those to go away now? Yes, yes, it does. It makes me hurt I'm like, inside. Go the fuck away. I need this time. Um, do I want to fix a match to keep uh, anything else I want to keep? Does any is anyone gonna be close to injured here? Closest chugs, and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fucking Ozzy, but fuck you, Chugs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna do that for the pay per view bonus and then buy the. Yeah, I'll buy Vince. I've bought Vince McMahon. All right. All it took was my silence. Uh, <laughs> oh, and so, now you're over budget. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get back to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> um, oh, shit, and I still have to. You know what? Um. Buzz, get your go shake your ass for the people. Um, and then Momoa, go shake your ass for the people. <laughs> All right. I... Oh damn it! Why can't you pick like pick up these and move them around like you can with these? Um. All right. Let's see. I'm I'm fine with all of that. I need to see if there's anybody who's my lowest stamina. Gordon with 55. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. Um. Oh, I'd like to buy that too extreme, but I think I'm okay. And then run in's good. Oh no, it is this week with Tyler. There's no way that's gonna pull enough. Uh I've really yeah. There's I don't no see way it. that's gonna pull enough to beat this. Ooh. I have an idea. Well, how much do I want to keep? Tyler Florence around because I have an idea okay okay here's okay here's what we're gonna do this is now a tables match that way Tyler's good at it we're gonna move that to the main mm-hmm titles on the line tables match which Tyler is good at what's Zerg good at let me see Zerg's good at TLC hmm Move them down there. Do I have a any tender love and care? No, I don't. I'm gonna hope that table boost brings this up enough. Then that can open. Then that. This one's rough all around. What free agents do we have? Well, I said I'd do it every time. I'll be hoisted on my own petard here. Um, uh, hi. <laughs> I bought two bought Vince McMahon and Morbius this week. Um Vince how much, and Morbius. I have to save fifty thousand dollars this week. Yep. Alright. We're gonna move down. Wow! That was a little bit that was a lot easier than I thought. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna love next week when I start and Morbius is like, thanks for the money, bud, but I'm fucking out. I'm fucking gone, dude. That's it. I've had enough. I've had enough. I am gone. Uh, anyone need that? I assume Morbius is still in good health. Oh, Joker stuck around. That's right. Um, I think I am... Possibly good. I'm tempted to remove this because I've got I've got a fucking I got a whole like month to build them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna clear that. I'm gonna someone else get out there and advertise for me. Max. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. It's I like, pulled fuck him. You. I pulled him. You're nothing him. but shit. Buy my product. Buy some products. All right. Uh, they're both good at tables matches, but the title's not on the line. They don't have the popularity. I'm hoping the popularity is going to carry this one. Um, Morbius's contract expires at some point. I'm getting an injury rehab. I am good. This last five weeks has just been, I'm, this fa past few weeks has just been, I am spending all of my money. What? I did not play Veto Champ. I can, you can go back in the footage. I promise you, I did not play Veto Champ.
I I what? I, I played Vito Superstar, which we agreed you can play on any pay per view. It is not. I did not pick Becky Lynch. I you picked. It is a random. Knowingly superstar. played a card. This is we have technically we, correct. We the best kind of correct. I cannot pick. I can. You know it. It's randomized. You cannot choose who gets vetoed. I did not decide Becky Lynch. You know whose fault this is. Fucking Hunter, you get mad at Hunter over this. I will only get mad at the one who has choice in this. <laughs> Hunter rolled some fucking dice. You press the button. <laughs> Motherfucker. You made the Actually, call. Actually, of all of the matches that could have gotten most pushed out, yeah, that's the one that works best. <laughs> because okay. I actually think I have enough I know you could do more for the brand edge okay I mean not tonight but uh, I'll see to it but uh, sorry edge oh because that's no. yeah, yeah you but would, you'd end up in the same thing I did holy shit wait did I change the three getting Katya from a tables match Fuck, if I didn't- I can't remember. If I didn't, oh, I'm gonna be really rolling the dice tonight. Cause if I didn't, yep. oh. Now when he says the next show, does he mean the pay-per-view, you think? Oh, I don't know, cause it said- well, how, I would just say, how about cutting a promo instead? Yeah, that's what I was gonna- Yeah, see, he's fine with okay, it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And then we can go- Okay, so I got the big stadium. So yeah, Dan can do a promo this week. I, I'm fine with that. Fuck it. What's his promo score at? Probably not good. <laughs> it's not. Uh, no, this is, well, this is how this show's gonna go, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh wait, what is my commissioner goal? Have your most popular male heel and face fight each other. Interesting. What do you get for that? Veto star. Oh. And that can veto any star we've learned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, that says their most popular superstar. Doesn't say a random superstar. Okay. It's not my fault your most popular superstar is your champion. I'll just say that. <laughs> You knew how this would go. I did I not know how it goes. I, I just... legitimately thought it was random. <laughs> I've never. I just know what the card vetoes a star. <laughs> ah, let's see. On. I don't want an interference. And we know this is the money match. Oh, yeah. Easily money match. Are they your most popular baby face and heel? No. Oh, okay. You're going to lose that veto star, buddy. I know, but that's um, fine. Why would I want to like? That's a yeah, not for a vetoed star. Yeah, because it would have to be. It would be Mark and Jeb, which would be a fine match. Yeah, that's fine. Mhm. Mm God, I'm gonna be real upset if I forgot to change that fucking tables match. Hey, bud, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't buy Vince McMahon. Don't buy Vince McMahon, you're gonna end up in the dirt. We'll see. We'll see how we get when we come to the end. Let's see. What's the other ones I wanted? Um, I'm kind hmm. of upset I, I had to do a run-in for the Tyler Florence match, because I would like to see Tyler win the title if he does. Yeah. I don't think I can go for the card this time. Oh, fucking well. No, oh, yeah. Extreme rules. Speaking of. Remember, that's there. And I'll buy a fix match. Those cards kick ass. 
These cards yeah. absolutely kick ass. I'm looking good. I'm looking forward to this one. So hopefully with these, um, I did have a double cost card. I forgot. Okay. I've got two of those. I don't have a TLC match. Oh, the only part oh. you could use that on Becky. I could use that on Becky. Is that way you don't have to pay Becky Lynch every couple of weeks now? If I had a Becky! <laughs> I do want to do that. Um, I want to do that on a few of my guys, like Lesnar or Cena. Yeah. It's just Extreme Rules City, bitch. Yeah. The only problem with doing multiples yeah. is you'll run into the same situation I did where if that yeah. middle card is what they end up playing the Extreme Rules card on, it's going to get a boost, which might mm -hmm. boost it past your opener. Ah, shit. That's a, that's a fair... Mm -hmm. Too bad I don't have two of those cards. Yeah. I don't know if you can dupe them up. Right. Oh, I forgot about Falcor and Aaron. There you go. Yeah, that's the other one. I it was it's in so much so many of these fucking places. Let's 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 see. Let's play with this. Okay. Because one of these um It's not like the other. The other. <laughs> one of these is Chester and Miz. Uh, this one I just kind of want to get out of the way. Yeah. And I don't really care. 64, 55. Wow, they literally have the same popularity and this skews a little bit higher. So I'm just going to hope that this card, the card gets played for this. I'm going to play, um, I'm going to yeah. save my TLC card unless. Unless. I have a TLC card, I play that, I know if this is guaranteed to get the boost. Okay. I buy the Hell in a Cell card, and then one of these is just gonna be a good match. Hey, do it, coward. I'm, I'm gonna fucking do it, Shaggy. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking do it. That's my favorite Scooby-Doo quote. I'm gonna fucking do, do it, it, Shaggy. Oh, I need to show you that video a little bit later. Um, oh, sick. Tibbs is, um... Yes, make me some money. Make me money. Let's see. All right. That's good. Um, let's head yep. over to these power cards. Oh Actually, yeah, put the, set up your set up your show first, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm Super holding off on I'm holding off on yeah. big stadium for next week cuz yeah. just cuz of pay-per-view bonus. Yeah, and 2% not really worth it for me yeah. right now. I gotta set up Lesnar and something. Oh, I also, okay. I said James Corden was gonna have a title match within the next three weeks, right? Yeah. Okay, we're about to have a championship gauntlet because just so he doesn't leave me, Morbius is gonna fight the fucking champion next week. And then after oh, that, we're gonna give James Corden the shot against the champion. I wish huh. you could do Fatal Four Ways. Yeah. Yeah. God, that would be... I, I, it's like you say, though. Like, it's, um... This is just the prototype, basically. This, this is, yeah, the... This John Cena, the, the prototype. Thank you. Ooh, yeah, that's a 75,000 for a not extra quality boost. Yep. Yeah, not right now. A little bit of TLC. 
Get a little bit of TLC. Get a little bit of DL. You might have a, a almost full five star show. Depending on the quality of the feuds and whatnot, like this might be a fully five star really show. Really think I'm. I'm really feeling this. Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, damn it. That just counteracts the one I have. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I've been saving these cards up, so I'm, I'm. Oh yeah, I, yeah I've been I, doing the same thing. Cause I'm like, yeah, I know I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do someone real dirty one week, <laughs> and they're gonna end up injured, and then aren't gonna have to come back. I still wish I had that Sonic the Hedgehog versus uh, John Cena Hell in a Cell match. Oh shit, yeah. Peter no Griffin. Money. Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. Oh, shitty Terry's there. Or Gibbons. Shitty chair. Ooh, I don't have that much money. Oh, yeah. What you no think? way. You, you gonna call it? I think I am. I'm being really... Tentative? Yeah, I'm being really bad about that. So let me... I just want to look it over. Yeah, show opener. Got a card played for that one. Feeling good. That, um, hell yes. Yeah, that one's gonna be good. I'm hoping that these two's popularity is not gonna... It's fine. Yeah. All right. Let's get into it. Do it. It's time to get extreme. I have no money for next week. Well, this is a pay-per-view. We gonna make money off of this, but we gonna make bank off of this pay-per-view, and I'm gonna make bank off of this match. Wendy Williams, Lady D, title on the line. Oh my God, Blake, this isn't just Extreme Rules. This is the horror show at Extreme Rules. And I think, um, okay, who more endangered in a horror show than is Wendy Williams right now against Lady D, who just immediately is going after w eyes. Wendy Williams. Jesus. Well, Lady D knows. Lady D and Wendy Williams, ha they have fought a lot over the past uh, a few weeks, um, viciously uh, mm -hmm. for this title, and. Lady D knows that you cannot underestimate her. That's right. No gimmicks needed. Lady Dennis Rescue. <laughs> Who just, oh, falls down uh, onto the ladder. Shh. Wendy right. Williams has just had Lady D's number for so long. So much so. I mean, Wendy Williams is the woman who took that title away from Lady D initially. Yeah. I do think, oh, God, we really do need to do that in the spreadsheet, like our... our length of title reigns and stuff oh yeah that would be really good to know because <laughs> my my universal title gonna be some bullshit it's like oh yeah gordon ramsay held it for a day and then momoa curry had it for a few weeks and then it was james corden then it was big man well yeah i i i assume that it's hard in this game to have actual long title reigns well, you and say that uh, on Up, Up, Down, Down, Breeze, Rey Mysterio was Breeze's champ nearly the whole season. Damn. So, yeah, man, that might oh. also just, ooh, right on the oh. chair. On the tailbone on the yeah. chair, too. Jesus. Crack I kind of six. I kind of wish that I'd fix the match for my yeah. main, but I, I honestly, um, I have a I have an announcement that I'm going to make once we get to the pay-per-view. <laughs> and it may I've be I've come to make an announcement. Shadow the Hedgehog is a bitch. <laughs> and it may be that uh, one of those matches is a number 1 contender's match. Hey. He pissed on my fucking wife. <laughs> All right, brought <laughs> brought the chair into the ring. <laughs> Cracks it. Just straight over you Lady know. D. I wish you could give someone like a full on fiend feels no pain gimmick, because it'd be great for Lady D. Yeah, that would be a great like um it'd be a good quirk too. It'd have to be like expensive, I guess. Oh yeah. I don't know how the quirk system oh. works in this game. Oh. Oh wait a minute. Has her has her just perched up? We've seen several champions retain in this manner, just putting their opponent on the top rope, forcing them to watch as mm -hmm. they take their title down, forcing them to watch as they are embarrassed. But Wendy Williams, oh, I thought she was about to fucking dropkick the ladder. Oh, 
Oh, but wait, Lady oh. D going after it. Oh, but oh, oh no 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 no. Oh, <laughs> ooh, that chair went flying. Mamma mia! <laughs> what? Uh, the? I've been, I've been like messaging people on Twitter like for advice for commentary, and I was like, oh, they, they said you need to build like a nice little uh, Google Drive of all your matches you call, and I'm like, okay. And so I've been trying to think about what matches to put in. And I'm just like, why not this one? <laughs> why not Lady D versus Wendy fucking Williams? Mm. Uh oh, going to the top, but I think they may be too far away from the belt. I think it, well, hold on now. Hold on Ooh. now. Oh no, she's she's got it. She's got the belt. Oh. Mm -hmm, but remember, oh. this ain't the Wendy Williams show. This no. is the horror show at Extreme Rules. I guess we really can show that off a lot, huh? We got a lot of horror going on out here, huh? Uh-huh. Just... Oh! <gasps> oh, that, that one always sucks. I yeah, went for a that... kick. A kick that would have uh, almost sent Wendy Williams down injury lane. It she looks evades. like... And then... Oh! Him. Gets clothesline. She is stunned. And Lady D... Uh-oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wendy Williams tried to no sell it and then then just Lady. got it. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pow! Oh! The punch and then she cracks her head on the steel chair. Oh the nux. Lady D has a direct path to championship gold once again, as long as Wendy Williams has that full ass concussion still. Yep. I uh -oh. think that Wendy Williams just sees red. There is yeah, that's nothing fucking but blood. rage. That's blood from when she got cracked in the skull with brass knucks, then million Oof. dollar babied herself. Rage and blood. Oh, wait a minute, though. Goes to the top, but it's not enough. She's too far away, I guess. I guess one side of the ladder's close enough, but the other one's not? <laughs> Hmm. I don't know, but I don't oh, really it's a it looks like oh, it's a kind never, of weird position No, there we go. Now. She's yeah. got it Whoa lady D said fuck fuck your shit. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh! Onto the chair Jesus again Lady the G has thrown everything but the kitchen sink at Wendy That's Williams. right. Oh, but wait a minute. Wendy Williams with a beautiful belly to belly. Taking down Lady D before picking her up. Could we see a choke? Oh! oh. Slams her down onto the edge of that ladder. The spine of Lady D. I mean, that is... That's pixie stick powder she has going through her vertebrae now. I don't think that's any bone. No, it's just dust and destroyed dreams that's right but now oh wait just suplexing mm -hmm. her into the corner looks like yes but lady Ooh. d says i don't need a damn ladder i'm going after wendy she wants yep. to secure her victory in this match she wants to make sure wendy williams is staying down before it's all over will uh, she do but it wait, though no, wendy, wendy williams picking wendy's her up wendy's got her up wendy's got her up Oh my goodness. A little tribute to the to one of the newest members of the roster in the form of Brock Lesnar. How did you get Brock Lesnar and John Cena in two weeks? Ah, uh, you know, I'm cool. Anyways, Wendy Williams now has that belt in hand. And uh-oh, uh-oh, is this it? Uh, oh! oh, no! Oh! oh. <laughs> Well, All Lady D has to do is get up there once. Let me remind you once again. I said it once. I'll say it again. This ain't the Wendy Williams show. Nope. This is the horror, horror show, show at Extreme Rules. Lady D up at the top. Wendy Williams still trying to struggle to get back to herself. Can she get it in time? No. Wendy Williams is fighting oh. back! Wendy Williams is fighting back! Wendy Williams throw it. Oh! No! Sends her down! Almost sends her through the table! 
And Wendy and Williams. Oh, wait, will she? Yes, retains her title in a match of the night candidate. And it's only the very first one. Wendy Williams uh, correcting me saying, no, this is in fact the Wendy Williams show at Extreme Rules. Uh. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, four, four and a half. And a I, half. Will, nice. I will take a four and a half or that's a, mm -hmm. that is fucking good. Rivalry complete, which means Wendy Williams can move on to her next big threat, which will be whoever wins between, fuck, it is a tables match. Shit. Shit. I'm gonna need y'all to poop the bed. All right, thank you for the $10,000, MJF. Uh, Chugs versus Breezy, Extreme Rules. Let's get going. There he is, Tyler Breeze, a man who mm. came into this came into this company as a veritable fan favorite, but has nearly gotten, uh, has suddenly become uh, villainized by the WWE Universe, but he's also just getting decimated by Badlands Badland. Chugs. And I think that this is really something that we can all get Holy behind. Holy shit! Badlands oh. Joe! Gets the knees up, though, is Tyler Breeze. Mm-hmm. And you gotta think the most person who's most disappointed than anybody else about this new evolution of Tyler Breeze is his former tag team partner in the form of Matt Gay. Matt Gay, you've got a thing was coming in here against a man who is now considered a WWE legend. He was on the path to the top and then suddenly Tyler decides to go on his own way and Matt Gay feels almost left behind. I mean, you really I hate to... Got to do Breeze versus Matt Gay, don't I? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna. You, you've already started talking it up, and um, <laughs> yeah. now uh, that's the story. Mm -hmm. Breeze has just got to fight his way past Badlands Chugs. That is right. Now picks him back up, but oh, beautiful head knocker from Chugs, and then oh, went for a leg lariat. Breeze avoids. Oh, Ooh. elbow strike straight to the skull. Lovely elbow strike right there. Ooh, stomping right on that man. Stomp, just stomping, stomping away on, on him. Stomping away on him. Stomped on a man. Picks him back up and now takes him over to the turnbuckle. What the hell is Breeze thinking here? Looks like he's just thinking punishment, but chugs mm -hmm. evades. Ooh. Code breaker. All right, Took the Mountain Dew right Code back up and right down. Oh, wait, but wait a minute, Spanish fly from Chugs! And then goes to the outside, the first one to take advantage of the Extreme Rules concept is the man known as Badlands Chugs, Chugs who says it's time to chug the game. But Breeze immediately cutting him off at the pass. You that's, made the th that's the thing about a guy like Tyler Breeze, you can't give him an inch or he will take a mile. Uh-huh, or in this case, chug a mile. That is right, but now pulls him back to his feet. Knee strike straight Ooh. to the skull. All right, and now Tyler Breeze debating what to do next. And it looks like he wants to use Chugs' own weapon against him. And it looks like he finally connects with it, but oh, Badlands. Went to, Ooh. oh, oh, oh. Chugs yeah, he fell on that on hammer. his own sledgehammer. That's Ooh. right. But now the battle continuing on the outside and Breeze being picked up by Chugs, but it looks like Chugs trying to figure out what to do. Might have been debating sending him flying into that ring post like a, a veritable dart. Mm -hmm. But uh, Breeze able to fight out of it and continue the punishment to Chugs. Mm -hmm. That's right. Pulls up the sledge. Oh, God. Oh, right into the, the cranium of Badlands. Chugs Tyler Breeze has snapped. And right My. now, Chugs is just running on fumes, I have to assume. Mm -hmm. Badlands Chugs running on pure fuel and adrenaline. I mean, if I, I don't even know how Chugs is still conscious at this point. I'm not even sure how his skull is still in one piece. That is right, but now Tyler Breeze. Oh, I thought might have been trying to go out and underneath the ring, look for some weaponry of his own, but instead opting to get back in the ring, get a little bit of rest. But also, that's given Chug some rest. I don't know if this is a wise move on the part of Prince Pretty. Yeah, it could have allowed Chugs to get a bit of that oh. second wind in, and oh! <laughs> I don't know if that was a second wind for Chugs or as much as a just Breeze's strength not being enough to lift the bad man. 
Yes, strength. Um, or Breeze's strength not being able to, to get him over and Chug's using his um, um, momentum against Breeze. That is right. And then, oh, pulls him up and just stomps away on the ribs. Tyler Breeze, if he can land a beauty shot or even a supermodel kick at this point, might be the end for Chugs, but looks like Breeze is wanting something else. He's just wrenching back on that arm. Ooh, Ooh and drops the knees. Picks him back mm. up and Breezy. Uh-oh. He might be Prince Pretty, but Chugs is oh! unprettier directly onto the sledgehammer. One, two, two. Th what? Two. Oh, Chugs kicked out. You can see Breeze is pissed. Breeze is furious at Badlands Chugs for that kick out. Uh-huh, but it doesn't matter how furious you are because Badland Chugs is on the march. That's right. Boom! On him. Boom! Goes to the outside, and now Chugs looking for some more weaponry to utilize, and it looks like oh, he's going to be going it. high flying. Oh, but it, Breeze just sent him flying into those steel steps before grabbing that sledgehammer once again. That sledgehammer has been the real story of this match. Ooh. The man who controls the sledgehammer controls the match, and that has been proven throughout every single moment. Exactly, but that, that sledgehammer, that is special to Chugs. That is oh. his... Oh! Something's happened to Tyler Breeze! Tyler broke. Tyler's uh -oh. broke. <laughs> oh! T Tyler Breeze bones forced to <laughs> shift around one another in order to get up. Oh, I forgot about my boneitis. That's right, activating the boneitis of Tyler Breeze is Badlands Chugs who takes things. Well, I thought he was going to try to take him back into the ring, but Breeze just kind of falls as Chugs does a little, does a fun little move. He was just laying back. He was cracking his back. That's right, but uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, whips him into the turnbuckle. That ladder in a precarious position. Wait a minute, Badlands. Oh, oh, the oh, ladder oh, the bulldog. bulldog. And the, the, <laughs> the running the <laughs> <top. laughs> I'm so happy the game grades on a different scale than we do, because this is yeah. definitely better than that opener. Oh, God. Uh oh Looking to bust him. Bust him with that <sighs> kendo stick. Jesus! Breaks apart! Oh. Tilt a world backbreaker! Picks him up! Chugs! No, went for an RKO! But then, oh, oh. catches him! <sighs> This, this is such a great rules. match! Sliced bread goes for the pinfall! One, two, three! <laughs> Let's Chugs fucking delicious. go! Bad lands, oh. Hell yes! Three and a half, rivalry complete. I'll fucking take it. That's good shit. Chugs wins. Ch <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> Chugs is fun to watch, man. Yeah. Buzz with a promo, earning daddy some cash. And then our technical main event. We're all gonna sit here and hope this is shit. <laughs> because if it's good, my main event's in danger. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Honestly, even if the main gets that card, I'm still a little bit worried about it. Yeah. Because, I mean, two level four rivalries have been on this card, then a level three rivalry. The main event, it has, I believe the advantage is the fact that Tyler is good at tables matches, the title is on the line, and hopefully it has that card to boost it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's got fucking nothing. But Katya's certainly got something, but oh. Megan gets the knees up. And of course, this, uh, this a number one contenders match. Whoever wins this will go on to face the woman known as Wendy Williams. Oh. And look at that, just wrenching back on that arm. Yeah, pulls, 
Katya's arm out of her socket, much like you can actually pull Mithrigan's arm out of its socket. <laughs> That's right, but then a kick to the spine. Katya gets back to her feet, and oh, just sending those punches straight into the, into the ribs of Mithrigan, and then, well, Katya just had some Katya fun there. Did it. Yes. That was that was just more a show off move there. That's right, yep. but oh, you, unfortunately, comes back to bite her. Do you think if Mithrigan pulled off one of her arms, like she's one of those robots where they're fully animated and they'll just crawl along like um, the thing? Uh, oh yeah. I think that would be if we could have her just her hand in a match. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, oh, what if she feuds with her own arm? Oh, no. Then they could be a tag team. That's right. But wait a minute, grabs her by the throat and slams mm. her down. And now Mithrigan, the first one to go to the outside and grab a table. Of course, we know uh, no stranger to... You good? Okay, hey, there no. we go. Whew, she went... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, what? what? <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. How did you do that? <laughs> All right, well, wait a minute. Now we got two tables in the ring and a lot more danger. How? Wow, these tables just Ooh. don't exist, I guess. Yeah, they are just gone. Oh, it's becoming I'm... Table City. Oh, shit. They're also both great at tables matches. Yeah, I booked this card entirely. Oh, uh, Tyler, no. Tyler Florence is fucking lucky. I love Tyler Florence because that is the only reason he is in the main event. That is the only reason I allowed him to ruin my card. Oh, I'm very interested to see. It might still be a good match. Yeah. Uh, uh. uh oh. Wait, is she gonna set up one in every single corner? Four corners I, of doom. I would love if that was like oh, a. Oh God! Just stabbing her, stabbing her stabbing. with her nails. <laughs> you gotta work out. You gotta get to the circuitry. That's oh. right. Wait, went for the uh, reverse RKO. You could say. Mm-hmm. Mithrigan picking up that table. Went for a, another crack. I'll say this, Katya has very much had Megan's number this entire match. Very true, Katya is just like pretty much owning th this uh, this tables match here, even though they're both good at tables matches. That Although is right, the three can... Whips her down, off the ropes, oh, drop kick. And now looking to set up a mean? table of her own is the robotic one, the first champion in Raw, or uh, sorry, SmackDown history. Yeah. Sets it up in the center of the ring. And now we have got tables just about everywhere. There is danger every which way you look. And wait, oh, I thought she was going Ooh. for a suplex, but instead is wrenching nope. on the arm, slams Whipping her down. Him. And then, uh-oh, double duck special straight yes. to the ribs. And then it may be time to end it all. Oh, oh no, but Katya fighting out. Not if Katya has anything to say about it. Kicks to the ribs, kicks to the gut. Megan fights back. Katya is stunned. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh. slams her down. Oh. And I think that, as much as yes, that did cause some damage to Katya, I think that also may have been counterproductive for Megan because that gave mm -hmm. Katya a chance to recover. Hell, the I'm impact from that <laughs> choke slam may have been just what awoken up this this demon. This. Hey, table, this what fight is <laughs> uh, Katya. I mean, if Megan, um, uh, if, if Megan should have just tried to put Katya through the table then and there, honestly. That's right, you mean because like it this? Mm -hmm. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of this match is the woman known as Katya, which means that she will be going on to face Wendy Williams for that women's championship in the future. Okay. Come on, please no, please no, please no. Okay. Okay, okay, so, three and a half. Three and a half. So as long as the main event is a four or better, I'm good. As long as the main event is a four or better, I'm okay. I bet you could pull that out with this. I think I could pull that off. But first, Momoa Curry gonna go out there and, and get daddy some money. Give daddy Let money. All right. <sighs> Oh, okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Four, 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 four stars. Tyler Florence, possibly the new champion. Four and a, four half, and a half stars. stars. Let's go. I applaud you, my friend, oh. I applaud you.
perfect bit four and a half three and a half three and a half four and a half that's a dip and a half baby let's fucking go hey <laughs> i'm legit i'm legit heated i'm I, it's, uh, let's fucking Hey, that's some good shit, and now here's some better shit. I don't know okay. if it's gonna be better anymore. Uh, uh, I'm no, I think, no. You've got all those cards and the rivalries behind I a lot do, of them. Yeah. Wait a minute. I've got... Where, where's the, doesn't it, isn't it supposed to show what their rivalry is? It is, I know they've got a rivalry going. Um, yeah. Who knows, maybe it'll show up after the fact. Spectate it up. All right. All right, Falcor. Aaron, mm -hmm. of course, this, um, has Dan, wait a minute, did Aaron, oh, hold on, wait, hold on, mm -hmm. hold on, let me try to, so, the yep. Game Grumps feuded with your tag champs, a boy and their dragon, then because of that feud, Aaron began to feud with Xavier Woods, and we were like, oh, okay, then we could also do Dan versus Falcor, <laughs> no, Aaron's just now feuding with Falcor. <laughs> Yeah, because you know what? Falcor just wants to run his way through everybody. Have have Aaron feud with Dan next. Have him feud with every <laughs> single person involved with that. <sighs> Aaron's like, you didn't fucking let me. You didn't help me, you piece of shit. Uh, I'm sorry. I couldn't. I was doing a promo. I was doing promos. Sorry, man. I wanted man. to do a promo. I asked. I'm very good at them. No, you're not. You're a one. Shut up. I Morning. really hope T, T. Florence has the title because then I could do uh, MJF versus <laughs> Tyler at the next pay-per-view with the title on the line. Oh, yeah. Although now I have to... Oh, Tyler Florence versus Morbius? Oh. Talk about a main an event and a fucking half, my dude. Hell yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, Falcor, <laughs> Falcor is fucking Aaron up. Similar color schemes between Indeed. Aaron and Falcor. Yeah, I, I was thinking that earlier. Like Jesus. All right, now. Oh God, up that what ladder. a fucking turn would it be if Falcor turned heel and joined up with Aaron instead? No, we've already established Falcor can never turn heel. If he yes. does, he becomes Korloff. And we also Korloff. know how that turns out. We have Korloff to send him. <laughs> You have to send him back in time. <laughs> yeah. Korlov the fucking destroyer. Kor no, it's Korlov the uh, unstoppable because he's Falcor the stop. Oh, yeah. All right. A brawl happening atop the ladder once again. Could have a repeat of last week's TLC match where just a brawl continues to break out up top. Mm -hmm. But will Falcor fly or will Falcor opt for that briefcase? No, Falcor's going to fly. What a oh. splash! Now, what is in the the briefcase, uh, all high above the ring? Golden Corral gift card. Mm, Twenty five dollars. <laughs> uh, if shit. you fought a dragon to get a gift card to Golden Corral, you might be a redneck. Uh, uh, in all reality, I. Sh probably could have switched th um the competitors instead of the match type i'm only just thinking this right now oh, to like yeah. instead have uh these guys in the extreme rules match have jeb and griffin in the tlc match for yeah. uh the number one contendership fair and then have them be my number one contender all right well wait a minute aaron going to the top Looking for that briefcase once again. Yes, going for it, unshackling. Oh, damn it, no, Falcor, stop it. Ah, oh, fuck. No, but I am too strong for this. I must have this. I'm not going to fight him up there. I'm going to fight him here. Fuck you. Contrary to popular belief, I'm actually afraid of heights. I'm, a, I'm okay. I'm a good person. Fuck you. All right, well, wait a minute. Oh, God. Mm. Straight to the skull. And now, uh oh, Aaron oh, looking burning. to put the thought he was gonna put the exclamation point on it. Wait, he very well may be. Picks up Falcor, drops him down. Ooh. And now, uh oh, what? Uh uh oh, Aaron. Uh oh, maybe he's just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're gonna stand there, I guess I'll just fucking climb up. Hey, wait, no! 
No, stop! You're not- you weren't moving! Fuck Man, you! Hold, hold on a second! I what thought if, you were what, broken! What if Falcor discovers a hack that when you- if you can time it to where the ball goes in at the exact same moment they hit you, and it spins it around, it can catch the ball inside, and it just permanently <laughs> runs it down. Blue Dragon Bomb! That's one of the, uh, that's one of the endings where you actually fall off the ladder with the briefcase in hand. Yep. Uh oh, slams him in. Could we see a, a one inch dragon kick? No, but G -G Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. We could see a fuck your ladder kick. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I'm up. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Yep. A standing one inch dragon kick. Uh. And now Falcor begins that ascent up to the top. Looking for that brief. Falcor, bud. He's done. He's done, mate. Yahoo! Why? Ouch. Why? Why? <laughs> okay. Yeah, go up to meet him, Falcor. Go on, Falcor. Su suplex him to the outside, my dude. I would love let, that. Yeah, Punch let him, him just let him grab shit. Come on. Uh oh. Oh wait, might have been going oh. for the suplex. Aaron stops him. Falcor fights back though, and then mm. elbow strike. Aaron Hansen in a dangerous way, but now Falcor in an even worse way. Yes, they're both bad. Oh! Uh oh. No, Aaron. no, no. Falcor. Falcor. No! no. Oh, oh, my the table. God! Falcor through the table. Well. Mama mia! All right, I have to admit it. I have to admit it. Aaron's pretty good. I do like how it's not, the camera's not even on him. It's, it's just, just on Falcor's Falcor. lifeless body. Falcor. Falcor, oh, he's not moving. Oh, no. Falcor is not fucking moving. Oh my God. Holy shit. Ego Raptor just killed a fucking <laughs> dragon. <laughs> Was Falcor close to being injured or something? No, he was pretty good. I don't think he is now, Not buddy. anymore. Four and a half stars, though. Beautiful match. Holy shit, what a finish. Hey, you, my <laughs> partner just fucked up a dragon. Want to buy some new genics? Oh, this oh, is wait, Dan was... coming out and celebrating with Aaron, and he turns it into a promo for himself. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dan being like, and I helped. I coached him. No, fuck you. Zero effect. Mm. All right. Jeb Griffin. Extreme rules. Mm. I cannot oh, this... wait. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. Fuck, I'm I'm legitimately like out of fucking breath after that finish. Like, <laughs> I've actually this game has pulled out fun wrestling matches many times. Like yeah. that I'm not surprised. I I mean I know you gotta you gotta watch a lot of like You gotta sift through a lot of hay, let's say. Yes. But when you get that moment of Ego Raptor suplexing a dragon man off the top of a ladder onto a table. Oh, well, for me, it was like a slow discovery of like, okay, he's going to do the suplex. And mm -hmm. I was like, well, with the way it's angled, they're in the corner. So it's not possible for him to suplex him out of the ring. It'd be cool. And then he shifts Shit. midway. Yep. And then he starts going and I'm like, holy shit, he's going to suplex Boom. him out of the ring. Then he suplexes him out of the ring. And then it cuts and he's in a fucking table. And I went, oh my God. And then after that, like usually when a spot like that happens, mm -hmm. they will get back up after a few and at least crawl back into the ring. Falcor remaining unmoving added so Dead. much to that. Mm -hmm. Like it was actually just you don't get those kind of endings that much in this game. Like usually they get back up, whereas in reality, a lot of times you would sell that like death and not be able to get back up. And that's the end yeah. of the match. All and right, then, suplex from Aaron Hand or I'm not Aaron. Aaron I'm still thinking about that previous fucking match, dude. <sighs> All right, but wait, what's Griffin going underneath for? Yeah, this oh, has Kendo been stick. This has been fun so far. Maybe a little bit of oh.
Jeez. Payback. Oh, oh. oh, but it is not enough. He's Griffin Clouds is trying to get a little bit of payback, and Jebaduk said, "Not in my yard, bitch." That's I feel right. like um. Oh wait, Griffin now has it. I don't know why uh, the jet. If I j oh, Griffin broke it this time. Have we already established that Griffin looks like the fucking president from that one game? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. Yes, we have the the senator, the nano machine. Oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> oh, stomping away on the hand. All right, but wait, Jeb fights back. Oh, quickly locks him in. Oh, takes him down. Wrenching back on that arm is the Jebaduck. Just taking Griffin to... apart. That's right, like he took apart that kendo stick, courtesy of mm -hmm. Griffin Clouds' spine. And it looks like he's gonna do it again! Yep. No, Griffin got him back. Griffin broke the kendo stick on Jeb this time. Oh. Well, and now hey, he's it looks like no, a... no, he don't. Payback's a duck, I'll just say yep. that. I, uh, Jeb was so fast with those moves that I couldn't even get words out. <laughs> just... oh, but wait a minute, Griffin. Oh, oh, oh he's doing it! it! He's yes! doing it! Oh, my I, I feel He like, was expecting it! Yep, I feel like this is the one that got the cart, and now I'm scared. That's the one, this is the thing, though, with, uh, oh, wait a minute, turns it around. Into an under vapor of his own. Oh. See, that's the thing with your roster. My roster, people have come from the world of culinary TV shows, from the world of food trucks, from the world of John Cena. They don't, they are not well acquainted with each other. For you, these are all JWF originals. They know each other's games, yep. but one, two, Ooh, Ooh, kicks out. Oh, it's just a matter of who plays that game the best. It's all about the game, you might say, and how you play Ooh, yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, with Sunday the Griffin's ropes. bloody face. You look at his face. face. Whips him into the turnbuckle as the Jebaduck, who now, uh oh, looking to just knock him out. Griffin's oh. already bleeding. He might be suffocated of oxygen. You love it when he does this. All right. Well, hey, Tibbs. Uh. <laughs> Alright, stomps <laughs> away on the arm. Sometimes Tibbs just comes and passes by the commentary table. Mm. He's not really supposed to be here, but there's not much we can do. That's alright. Oh wait, going to the outside is Griffin Clouds. As the Jebaduck comes out to meet him. And now, uh oh. Oh, strike straight to the knee. Oh. And then another. Can I just point out that in the fiction of like the JWF world, if these are in the same kind of like continuity, then Tibbs has gone full Ric Flair going to TNA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm done. Bye. I'm, I'm not retired here. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> I did realize this was almost a Wrestlepalooza like matchup. This was almost one of the biggest matches. Of course, we know Jebaduck winning block B of the, uh, Golden G1 or J1 <laughs> tournament and Jeb or and Griffin nearly winning block mm -hmm. A Of course the real winner of that was oh. none other than Balak A uh, man, yes. uh, man here on commentary with me one two, two the three. Knee strike gets it the Busaiku knee the That's right the sick vape trick Yep the sick, yep. He hit, he took a hit of the vape and then he blew it out as he did the knee strike. You didn't see it. Doesn't show up on camera well. All right. Yep. All right. Four oh, and a half. No. Oh, fuck. You got lucky. <laughs> you got lucky. Oh, boys. Now, but that also does mean your main has to. Yeah, your main's easily four and a half, five stars. Yeah, I'm hoping so because it's got the card, it's got the rivalry, and it's got the Hell in a Cell match stipulation. Yep. Which, All right. Oh, but On they the had the extreme rules bonus too. Uh, we'll see. Captain Tibbs, make me money. Only nine thousand. Okay. What? I wonder. I wonder if it goes down the more you do it. It might. All right. On to, so uh, honestly, my main event. This is my main, main event. event in our hearts. Really, <laughs> I hope this one. Miz. I hope this one's actually the one that got the card, and it's four and a half stars as well. <laughs> Hey everybody, something fucked up, <laughs> something messed up in Streamlabs. Um, I've learned, Blake, 
I'm just not able to use my computer when we do this. If I clicked literally any screen, everything breaks. Um, but hey, these two have been putting on a banger. The Miz has been... The Miz has been, I will say, very much attempting to avenge that loss to Chester. Mm -hmm. The Miz has very much brought a new aggressive side out, but Chester's been fighting back out of it. Oh yeah, Chester. Um, he he has shown that he's um able to uh, to evade a lot of the Miz's uh, uh offense now. A lot of the uh, the clever tactics that someone say are underhanded that the Miz might employ in some of his um his fights, but uh, he's not really even been uh, doing that much of late because I forgot that I turned him to a baby face. That is right, Sledgehammer though. Oh yeah, this match really, <laughs> I've, it's, I've been telling the story as if The Miz was the heel this whole time, but uh, no, he's the heroic baby face seeking revenge for that dastardly heel. Well see, no, Chester, Chester, Chester has kind of lost his way and Miz is trying to show him how to do things right. No, that's right. Chester has been the one, and I will say this, Chester has been the one going under the ring. Chester has been the one attempting to cheat. Chester is a little bastard man, and The Miz has been trying to, I'll be honest, wrestle pretty fair. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, oh! Sometimes when you wrestle fair, you eat a sledgehammer to the bread basket. For your trouble. That is right. And now, uh-oh, picks him up. Oh, Ooh, right down nearly his back. dropped him on that, onto that steel step, Jesus. I know, that's just, ouch. Uh-huh, but now Miz sends Chester over before getting back into the ring. Once again, like you said, the Miz attempting to get Chester to, to see the way to, to wrestle a normal match. But yeah. this ain't, this isn't the horror show at normal match. This is a horror show with extreme, extreme rules. rules. Yeah, but you see, the Miz is he's reluctant. He wants Chester to come back in under his own power. It's almost like he forgot that there are no count outs. That is right. And now, wait a minute. The Miz goes for the suplex, but oh, Ooh. God, drops Chester down. And, and now look at saying... that. The Miz grabbing this. What's your technique here, <laughs> bud? Oh, he's getting energy for it. He's revving yeah, up. He's running. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the Strowman Express. <laughs> Immediately just gets caught and locked up. <laughs> did did the Miz tap to this last time? I yes. can't remember. He did. Is he dead? No, he's it's falling really... out. Oh, my okay. God. Oh, well, I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter if the tap happens outside of the ring. At the end of the day, you got to do it inside the room. Yeah. <laughs> Back of the head just coming down on that sledgehammer. Oh, and God, the Miz, Miz saying, don't make me have to turn you heel again. Jesus. Miz saying, look what you made me do, Chester. You brought out the old me. And he is just taking it to Chester. We need a nickname for Chester. The clean one? He's clean. the clean man who fights dirty. C Cleany Joe. Oh, well, Miz is doing some Dean Ambrose shit. <laughs> it's like, all right, here I am. What's up? Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to pick this up <laughs> real like, quick. Oh, you just left this here, huh? Okay, I'll take it. Ah, my knee. Uh-oh, uh DDT's him. Oh, Ooh. I thought it might have been down onto the head of the... Hey, ref, calm hey, the ref. fuck down. <laughs> Ref, calm the fuck down. There you go. Uh-oh, Chester. I thought he was going to stick his head underneath the bottom of the table. Oh, God, that would be lovely. That's right. Hard to kick out. Oh, wait a minute. Opting for the figure four. He has used this before to great success to win his matches. Will it get him another win? No, look at this, Chester. Chester. Oh, I thought it was turning it over, no. but no. Forced to give in once he realized he could not do it. And I believe that's the second time Chester has tapped to the figure four. I think it's all over now. Figure four, cross face, figure four ends it. That that's how right. Three and, three and a half, half stars. Okay, fine. A-okay. That's exactly what I could hope for there. If you, uh, if you have a five-star main event, you will have tied my best pay-per-view. All right, it is time. Let us do Our this. 
All right, time for our main event of the evening. Mark Plays versus Justin Clouds to determine the man who will be facing Evil Emperor Zerg next week at Survivor Series. Oh, wait, look at this. We get ring announcements. In the left corner, we get Mark Plays. And then in the right corner, it's Justin it's Clouds. Hell in a cell. Fight! <laughs> Shit, why do they not do that? That should be so much. That would be so good. That would, it oh, really wait a wouldn't minute. Be. I just realized. Mm -hmm. It may not be one of these men against Zerg. We don't know if Tyler won by DQ or not yet. Oh, shit. You're right. Which means I may have to completely change up Team team SmackDown. Because Tyler was my team captain. Mm. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Kendo Sticks. This has been Kendo Sticks. It, it, it's the only thing you put underneath the ring, Kendo Sticks. Yeah. You just have a lot of Kendo Sticks under the ring. Why? What, what function do they serve? Uh... Fuck you, that's what. I remember someone once tried to say, I don't know, they maybe used it to tighten the turnbuckle. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. All right. Pulls him back into the ring. Um, by process of elimination, unless he just hasn't discovered his quirk yet, Mark Play should be good at Hell in a Cell matches. Hell yeah. I All hope. Right. Oh, big gut shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the process of elimination ones where you're like, oh, I know now. Yep. I know who does that. All right. But now takes him to the ropes, drops him down as Mark Ooh. plays oh. before grabbing that kendo stick and just oh, oh. went to whale on him. Justin got out of the way. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Big toss. That was a scary. <laughs> I thought it was a spine buster, but Jesus, he yeah. just kind of fell. Ooh. Oh, hey, but we had. Uh huh. Griffin won that match earlier, didn't he? Yeah. Did it? Yeah. If uh, Justin retains, then it could be brother versus brother very soon. Hell yeah, brother, brother. All right, and now, oh, Mark going after the arm. I will say these two have been uh, honestly pretty restrained when it comes to this Hell in a Cell concept. Not yes. much exploration, and I'm very grateful for that, because we know what the fuck happens. Oh, we know if it gets bad. Although, I... Listen, Justin's got a power bomb. Uh, Mark, Mark has, has the up-up-down-down. Up, up, down, down. Yeah. And, like, those are both very, I think, that would set it off. Yeah, send them through the center of the cell. Yep. All right, one. Kicks out is Justin Clouds. You got to mm -hmm. do more than that to take out the Cloudsman. Mm-hmm before picking him back up. I I kind of wish, uh-oh. We may not get the opportunity to see that up, up, down, down. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, wait, wait. a minute. No. Unless he picks him up for it. Oh, Justin evades. Oh, Mark plays is just going after him. Whips him uh -huh. down. Ooh. Thought we might've seen a gamer's elbow, but no, Mark plays pulling him back to his feet. Might be trying to finish things off here. Big suplex to the big Ooh. man. I've also realized that my um, roster is full of uh, online gamer streamers, like streamers oh, yeah. and like YouTubers. Oh, yeah, yeah. YouTubers, oh, podcasters. What wait, the Justin Clouds was going oh. for the brass knuckles. Not nice. a move we usually see out of Justin, but no. he hell in this situation, Justin may be willing to do anything to hold on to that title. I mean, we've talked about it before in the VWO Hammerman successful singles run. Griffin Clouds, one of the first ever JWF champions. Justin Clouds is that one who had always been seen just as the third one, as the third member of his trio. And now that he has that opportunity to prove himself and hold that belt, you know he's not going to give it up that easy no absolutely some some have said it was a, a a fluke that justin won the belt um so quickly from mark plays in uh, in that tlc match but um there there are uh, uh many uh, especially justin clouds and the clouds uh family in general who just want to like who, who know that justin can prove himself and that justin is justin's showing it justin's showing up that is right all right, now, wait a minute. Both men fighting after one and the other. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, nearly sent him. Oh, bud, they're going just, through the cage. Yeah, I, I can just, feel it. I'm going to warn you right now. They're going through. Um, he's got to throw it's, him. I think it's three times against the grate, and then it opens. Uh, so there's one. 
And the problem is they gotta have to do it both ways. Uh, hey, boys, uh -huh. boys, come on. Come on, get uh -huh. back in the ring. Hey, hey, hey. Go! All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Baby face of the match, Mark plays for not letting it go outside. <laughs> R God rolls him over. One, One two, two, kicks out. No. I was like, not even hooking the leg. Mark plays no. a little bit exhausted. Yeah, indeed. I mean, he has been putting a lot of punishment onto Justin Clouds. Oh, big That's elbow. Right. Oh, and it and might, might be, be all mm -hmm. over for the Cloudsman. Up, up, down, down. The kill steal takes it. Goes for the pinfall. One, two, three. Oh, he's still in it. The boy. Justin Clouds is still in it. He's still fighting. Justin but he's still. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Looking to finish things off now is the man known as Mark Plays. Who might be looking for the most electrifying move in gaming? Inter no, he's just doing another one. <laughs> he just said, "No, nah, fuck that. I don't need a. I don't need an elbow drop. I'm just gonna <laughs> fucking hit you with another. with another." Come on. And there it Take is. The pin. One, two, three. three. Your new WWE champion, the man known as Mark Plays. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I think if there was ever a reason for Justin to turn heel, it's this. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. it's fuck that guy. I want to beat everyone up. Heck yeah. Well, that means uh, we are going to see Mark plays versus either Zerg or Tyler Florence tomorrow. Five yes! stars. You have you have tied my best pay-per-view. <gasps> um, so that means Tyler Flor. I'm going to say it's probably Tyler. Maybe Tyler. More than likely. Um, at the pay-per-view, we are going to have... Let me get them all. Uh, Falcor and Woods versus Macron and Zerg. Wendy Williams versus Becky Lynch. Frazier versus Edge. Breeze versus Woods. And of course, the four on four and three on three Survivor Series matches. God, look at that. <laughs> Amazing booking on both sides. Very good. Rivalries complete. Rivalries complete. Mm -hmm. What a fucking show. What a fucking show, mate. All right. Uh, let me, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Match of the year candidate. One of the greatest matches of wrestling history. Zer Evil Emperor Zerg versus Tyler Are Florence. Florence. Wow. Um, oh, oh wait, gosh, yeah, it's read a, what? I just realized it's a fucking tables match. You can't get DQ'd. Oh. Shit, Tyler you're right. Florence is the champion, baby. Let's go. All right. I want to see the uh, uh, the breakdown for uh, the main. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, match of the year candidate. One of the yeah. Same yeah okay, thing so it's the same thing. I was curious yeah. to see how diff or how often they would change them. Yeah, Mark it's pretty. It looks pr <laughs> it's pretty AI. Oh, what was Mark at? He was seven. Oh, he's at seven. Yeah, you might want to rest Mark for a few, bud. You're... All right. You're lucky that uh, Survivor Series does not take place in universe, technically. <laughs> yes. Oh, my. Uh, fantastic show from SmackDown. Did you guys see John Cena jump Zerg? Everything all right with Lady D? Uh-oh, Lady D looking frustrated again. Mm-hmm. I might be losing Lady D in a couple weeks, bud. Uh-oh. Florence is the new champion. You need to give Badlands Chugs a break. Okay, we'll give Chugs a break for the next few weeks. Let him get get him uh get him settled. Other than that, I think I'm good. 210 fans, that's pretty fucking good. $360. And okay. I got me an injury rehab. Very nice, very nice. Uh right. 228 fans. $335. Oh, God, we're so fucking neck and neck. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal tonight. Much better than last week. Mark plays versus class was great. Um, Mark is the new champion. Is Aaron They're all right? To see more tag. They're wanting to see tag matches. Oh, yep. is Aaron all right? So, yeah, I need to give Chugs a break, and you need to give Aaron a break. Yep. Okay, that sounds good. All right. Oh, closing the gap. So close. It's like by 10,000 fans every single week, you're mm -hmm. inching closer and closer. But for ladies and gentlemen at home, that 
was extreme rules that was the pay-per-view what was your match of the night what was your favorite this is uh i don't know if it's just because of sheer adrenaline or what but i always love our pay-per-views yeah. um honestly oh. probably falcor and aaron falcor aaron <laughs> so that that match was holy shit just because of the final spot mm -hmm. uh but let us know at home what your match of the night was let us know what you think and of course make sure to like comment and subscribe to get some battle of the bs in your feeds every single monday because when you're a fight boy you're a fight boy for life <laughs>